So I basically, at this point, I've shut the bed and breakfast down. I just need the time to grieve myself and then I need time to figure out what to do. Cody actually said to me the other day, he's like, why don't you just move up there? <laughs> so I'm like, uh, that was not my intention. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So earlier today, I did the recap for Sister Wives, Sister Wives Season 17, Episode 4, The Last Family Gathering. I did that whole recap. I do that every Monday around noonish Central Time where, um, you know, we watch the episode over the weekend and then Mondays I give a full recap and we kind of discuss the episode. Now, I had a few things that I wanted to just do these pre-recorded videos and discuss. One thing being how Cody basically instructed Mary to move back to Utah to start running the bed and breakfast that she bought years ago. Now, if you guys watch the episode, if you guys keep it up with it, you guys know that Mary's mother passed away a few episodes back. Mary's mother, Miss Bonnie, runs the bed and breakfast and she has for some time now. So Mary bought it, never with the intent that she would ever live there, but for it to be something that would be within the family, an asset to bring money into the family. And you know, it worked out that her mom could live there and run it for her. When her mom unfortunately passed away, obviously not only did it cause a lot of heartache for Mary, but it also um, kind of put her in a place where she didn't know what to do with the bed and breakfast. It left some uncertainty as to the future of Lizzie's Heritage Inn. Um, she didn't know, you know, if she needed to hire someone to run it. She didn't know if it just needed to stay shut down. So in this past Sunday's episode, that's what she's discussing. There are a lot of clips where she's, you know, self-recording. She's recording herself talking where she's just discussing how tough it's been since her mom passed away. And she talks about how she was having a conversation with Cody about the, the breakfast, the bed and breakfast, how she was telling him, like, I really don't know what to do. I'm just at this point of uncertainty. I have it shut down. It's been shut down since mom passed away. And he says, well, why don't you move up there and run it yourself? Which obviously stunned Mary and it confused her, it stunned her, and it saddened her. Keep in mind, this is less than a month after her mother passed away. Less than a month after her mom passes away, her husband is suggesting that she moves states away, away from the family to run this bed and breakfast that she never bought with the intent of her living there. Now, in other episodes, we see uh, Christine chime in where she says, you know, Mary has made it abundantly clear from the time that she bought this property that this was a property that was just to stay in the family, a property to be an asset to the family, but she has made it abundantly clear that she would never move there and live in this bed and breakfast. Janelle chimed in as well in her own confessional stating, the whole family has known that this would never be a place that Mary would ever move to. It would just be a place that she would run or her mom would run. And now that her mom has passed away, obviously, you know, Mary doesn't know what to do with it. And when she was talking to Cody, she said it was really just to, you know, conversate with him, just to kind of vent to him about, I'm at this place where I don't know what to do. So when he suggested that she move to it, it really hurt her. She said it really stunned her, shocked her, and it hurt her. And it made her feel like Cody's always assumed that she bought the bed and breakfast as a way, as an out, essentially, to where if she ever wanted to leave the family, she would have a place to go. And she said that saddens her. Now, Robin takes up for Cody and what Cody says. Robin essentially says like, Oh, Cody didn't mean it in a bad way. He's just thinking out loud. Mary comes to him with a problem, so he's trying to give her a solution. Like, he didn't mean it in the way that it came off, but it probably was something that didn't need to be said. Well, you don't say. You know, Mary's mom just passed away less than a month ago, and now here her husband is saying, yeah, sure, please move states away. At a time when Mary needs her family most to really like wrap their arms around her, and be there for her and be supportive of her and remind her that, hey, you have a large family here that is here to love on you and here to support you. You don't have to be alone. In the episode, Mary also said that she has days where she just don't leave her house. She don't want to go anywhere. She don't want to see anyone. So she just doesn't leave her house at all, which with a family as big as they have, that's one of the reasons they claim they believe in polygamy is so when you go through things, you never have to go through it alone. You have this large family that is there to love on you and support you. But Mary basically tells us in this episode that she went through the death of her mom alone almost. And when she did reach out to speak to, you know, Cody, she was met with, yeah, sure, please move to Utah and run that bed and breakfast. That's what we need you to do. Just move there and run it. Now, Cody says that he did not have ill intent when he said that. He said that they don't have a really 
interactive relationship. He's like, yes, yeah, she lives here, but we never see each other. We don't have an intimate relationship. So she gives me a problem. I try to give her a solution and it was not meant to hurt her. But Mary did say that it did in fact hurt her for him to suggest that she move off, especially just after losing her mom. In the episode, she talks about how she wishes that the family could work on healing and making amends rather than people just leaving. And, you know, for her to hear that Christina's leaving and to not support it and to vocally say, you know, I don't agree with Christine leaving. I think Christine should put in more of an effort to make this work. And then to have Cody just be like, point her out. You know, Cody is like, oh, I'm sad that Christina's leaving, but he's literally telling Mary to leave. She also says with everything going on, she feels lost. She feels empty. And she feels like she has a lot of things that she needs to get figured out and no one there to really be supportive of her to help her figure these things out. So I was very shocked in the episode when Mary is basically unsure of what to do. She just lost her mom and her husband literally instructs her to move, you know, hours away, um, away from the family, away from the people that she feels like considers, you know, is her family. Now in the episode, Mary says that it saddens her to hear Cody say that she move, she should move up there. Um, as if she purchased this in to get away from him and the family. She says, I was here at the very beginning. I helped start this family. It was me and him. We had plans and he loved me. Um, so I can't imagine how much that does hurt her, you know, to think about that, to think back at, it was me and him that started this, literally me and him. And now he spends all his time at Robin's house, all his time with Robin's kids. And he's literally like a-okay if I was to move, not only a-okay with it, but he's telling me to. I feel so bad for Mary. Like I really do feel bad for her, especially during that moment where she, um, has days that are so bad for her, she don't feel like she can leave the house. And rather than having her husband come over and console her, be there with her and say, we'll get through this. Hey, we'll hire somebody to run the, the, the Airbnb. We don't need you to move up there. We want you to stay here. Rather than saying anything like that, she's at home alone trying to figure it out. I thought that was pretty wild, you guys. Once again, just kind of showing me that Cody is not the type of husband I would want. Um, you guys leave me your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you guys think? Were you guys shocked to hear Cody suggest just weeks after Mary's mom passed away that she move off to Utah, be by herself in this, you know, Airbnb so she could run it, even though she was struggling with the death of her mom? Were you shocked to hear him suggest that? Leave me your thoughts. Make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. And you guys, for some reason, YouTube is not promoting my videos. People are not getting notifications and it is really affecting my channel. So if you guys don't mind, please share this video if you guys don't mind or leave a comment in the comment section, even if it's a smiley face, even if it's a thumbs up, just leave something so it will help the YouTube algorithm for them to see me like, hey, she's getting traction on this. So let's put her content out. Um, thumbs up, comment, and leave me your thoughts. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone.